On this matter, Liberal Soshoma, legal practitioner, and Mazi Oku, who is also a legal practitioner and political analyst, joins me now to take a look. Good morning, Liberals. Good morning. Uh, right, in the words of the governor, he says, it will, be, it will be out of place if I do not do anything to encourage the judiciary. What's your thought on that? Uh, it, it's um, it's uh, supposed to be a symbiotic relationship. The executive arm, the legislative arm, and the judiciary. And uh, but the judiciary seems to be the one that suffers most, you know, um, because there's always this um, banter between the executive and the judiciary, and then you know, and, uh, sorry, the executive and the legislature, and then you have this attitude of rub my back, I rub your back. But um, the judiciary is supposed to be, like the judge said, protect the strong and the weak, and so that's why it says. Is the last hope of the common man, and, and so to that extent, I, I shouldn't see this as a big deal. You know, it shouldn't be something celebrated. Mm -hmm. They were celebrating that um, judges are given instruments that will enable them perform the duties, you know, of um, their offices. It's but the only thing for me is that you know, like it happened under IBB, where if you remember the famous case of. Um, um, uh, Ghanifa Emi and um, um, uh, Concord and the nine just Concord and the nine just of the Supreme Court mm -hmm. where IBB bought you know brand new Mercedes Benz for them and it was said that the Benz were registered in their private names and that so to that you know it was a bribe to them um, it, that shouldn't be these are official vehicles and therefore you know uh, the judiciary should be registered you know, in the names of the judiciary and handed over to the judges so, and allow them, you know, use it for, to, to, to deliver, you know. So if it's not registered in their name, you're saying if it's not registered in their name, it can be moved on to another person? Yes, um, we have, these are, these are not matters we should be talking about in 2020. 20, why not? As far back as 1999, Lagos State Government started doing this. You know, when they came on board, when the new democratic dispensation came on board, they discovered that um, the judiciary was hardly taken care of in, um, in Lagos. And so what they, the first thing they did was to elevate their status, ensure that they wouldn't have a home that they retired into. And then, you know, bought them brand new cars, renewable, after two or three years. And then, you know, you can even afford to, you can decide to buy it off, you know, the judiciary if... Um, uh, you know, after the expiration of that, um, you know, term. So it, it's not a big deal. It's not something, but just that Imo State had been in the news for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. and, and so I remember in Imo then, where even the former governor, Richard Sokorocha, kept complaining that judges were giving orders against the state government. And so to that extent, I think that's why he decided to punish them by depriving them of you know the tools to work and and so giving them the tools to work now shouldn't be a big deal that we should be celebrating that right. judges have been bought cars for if we had the let right infrastructures <laughs> okay. we wouldn't be even be discussing uh, all right let me switch to uh, uh mazi oku who is also on standby now mazi oku can you hear me i'm hearing you i hope you're hearing me too. okay great now the news of the gifting of 20 suvs by governor ozodima to the state judges raised concerns uh, could you help us identify why that is well uh, the news uh, is not uh, strange all over the country in many parts of the southeast and other parts of the country you hear people you keep on hearing of uh, the executive gifting vehicles to another arm of government. In this case in Imo is judiciary, tomorrow it will be the legislature, etc. etc. It's all so the case. The recent issue before uh, some, some weeks back, uh Tatarawa State Governor uh, blew about five hundred million buying about twenty four uh Prado uh, no, uh, this uh, high lot SUV for the legislature. And uh, meanwhile this is a state that has no uh, uh, ventilator, not the whole one. Anyway, the chief uh, Speaking about judiciary specifically, there is what we call the financial autonomy, which uh, is back at the federal level, at this level, is even a consumer matter. But these uh, most states have been, uh, you know, when I say the governors operators, as military administrators. Everything will not revolve around the field. Otherwise, why would there they not be a budget debated, approved by the legislature, and each, each uh, arm of government? 
the individual the usual he run the uh, run it as required by by the by the laws. No, this is what do as they like. Whatever they feel like, they give you they you know, give you some facilities as if it's a personal thing. And by the level of the judiciary, it runs against all those uh, 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 norms. Judiciary ought to be seen to be free. Okay. Mm-hmm. And free, when you give them vehicles, you make them subservient to the giver, so to the person who dictated them the thing. So, I don't know, it's a little bit uh, untidy, very untidy. It's not uh, ethical, it's not acceptable. And uh, you know, the gift in the that is his personal money. This is Imo State funds. It should be appropriated in the budget. Uh, for example, let us ask Imo State people, is there any appropriation in the current budget, if there is any one being run by the current government, in which there is provision for putting of vehicles for the judiciary? I doubt it. And if there is such provision, it ought to have gone to the judiciary as a first line charge on the budget, so that as soon as uh, the money comes through, the chief judge or the registrar, whoever is in charge of running the the accounts of that department or that uh, 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 arm of government who do the appropriate uh, purchases going through due process. All right. Uh, so this idea of government is If I may interrupt you there. Other department, other arms of government is most unacceptable. And it's it, 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 the practice of all over the place. So I'm not excited that uh, he gives that. And again, uh, it should be taken seriously by activists at the uh, civil society you know, and the uh, really questioned and uh, challenged. People have also argued that the timing of this gifting is also worrisome. We have uh, COVID-19 to contend with. What's your thoughts on that? That's what I'm saying. The matter of priority. Now, if there has been a proper budget process, and usually all they need is uh, 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 as a proposal, and the legislature approves, then it will run normally. But uh, at this time, I don't know how I, 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 to avoid uh, the democracies. The legislature plays a, a part in uh, making facilities in provisions for this pandemic, like we see every day in the United States Congress and in the U.S. and in, even in Britain. But here, except for federal, where the, the federal government occasionally tries to reach out to them, I have not heard of any state in which the governor or any, any state of that country could initiate the process of facilities, the process of. Um, making provision for the citizens in this crying time. And uh, there is always a plan not about it. Is that it's always the governor, the governor, the governor, the governor. We're not really we're, we're already the leadership. We're already a democracy in which there are three co equal and uh, different and co equal and arms. So something is very wrong. And uh, the vehicles the, the they are the necessary. I don't know what was the last position and the last government in terms of where was it where were they provided for facilities to run their office. But right. this idea of being on a whim, the governor on a whim decides to do something, it, it, it looks political to me. And, and uh, down to serve an end, which of your city is so that the judiciary will feel a little bit uh, fascinated. All right, I, I, I'll switch on to Kaching Walker also, who is joining in this conversation. Can you hear me, sir? Hey, good morning. All right, good morning. I'm sure you're following the conversation around the gifting of judges, uh, you know, by the state governor of Imo State. Now, the question is, on what basis can such acts be challenged if, the, if there's need for it and by who? Well, uh, the last person who spoke said um, he wanted to know if it was in the, uh, it was, if it was appropriated, you know, in which case is he acting uh, ultra-virus or, or, you know, sorry, I'm not a lawyer and all that, but that, that let me let me put some things right first and foremost. Um, judges being provided cars by state governments, at least I know in the most states has been going on. I don't remember any administration that has not given vehicles to judges. What is happening here that is um, the news is that he has given uh, Prado SUVs. Uh, that's like the, the, the biggest um, status of cars ever given to judges. I think that's what the, the big news is here. Uh, you, you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm understanding. Go ahead, please. Because the judges, uh, I understand, are entitled to vehicles, and they have always been given vehicles. So I think what's the difference now is that maybe at this time, they're getting something bigger than uh, usual. Now, why do you think it's bigger? Um, I don't know. I have no problems 
personally with anybody I'm um, giving judges, judicial officers, the tools to work with. As a matter of fact, it ought to be done. I only have discomfort when things um, look like they are being done to operate under whims and cap of an individual. Um, this is not a specific problem of um, His Excellency Hoposadema. It's a problem of Nigeria, but it has also become a responsibility of the current uh, uh, practitioners, including Hoposadema, to actually begin to tidy up. Um, these things are supposed to be institutionalized. In other words, we're supposed to know what is an entitlement of a judge. It should be institutionalized. So it's not about whether you like the judge or you don't like the judge, or whether they're giving judgment in your favor or they're not giving judgment in your favor. The judge should know from the day of his appointment, these are my entitlements. And, and the executive must be responsible for providing those entitlements since, as of today, it is the executive that executes uh, according to our constitution. So um, the basis for challenge, therefore, would be on number one, is this a statute? Is there a budget? And what is the basis of making the choice of this cars? I even thought we'd worry more about whether this cars, for instance, we're talking about buying Nigeria now. The economy has shown us clearly that you need to buy Nigeria, patronize Nigeria. I would have worried, I would have actually been more interested in knowing whether we made any attempt to buy Nigeria here, mm -hmm. uh, in this case, and stuff like that. And then, like somebody said before, what was the appropriation for this and how does it work? Okay. But all in all, it's a good thing to give the judges the tools. And by the way, the judiciary is not inferior to any other arm of government. And so if the same brand of vehicles are in use in the other arms of government, it would make sense that it's also in use at judiciary. All right. Let, uh, let, let me come again, to Libras, who is in studio here and nodding in affirmation. Yes. What do you not agree with and what is it that is new to you? Yeah. Um, I, I like the fact that uh, my colleagues um, on the phone and on, on the, um, the, you know, the it's net great. had expanded you know, the, the discussion to the area I actually wanted to take it to. Fantastic. Um, like I said earlier, uh, this is something that Lagos State and most other states had been doing. But we actually need to fine tune this. The legislatures don't buy vehicles for the executive. The executive don't buy vehicles for the legislature. The responsibility of taking care of judges rests squarely you know, within the ambit, you know, as provided in the Constitution, at the, um, within the poor view of um, the State Judicial Council. Okay. There is a commission, there's a commission known as the, the State Judicial Commission that takes care of the appointment, discipline, and remuneration of judges. So also, so as not to be unduly influenced now that's why the salaries of judges are charged to the consolidated revenue funds. And so a situation where there are, there are tools, it's not clearly defined. Mm -hmm. And then a governor comes on board and says, oh, I'm gifting you cars. In, during the military, like I said, it caused a, a whole lot of problems at the Supreme Court where IBB gifted justice of the Supreme Court cars. And the Ghanifa immediately challenged it that those cars were registered in their personal name. So if you have a different arm of government, if you also saw in Lagos State at the point, there was an attempt by the uh, Minister of Justice to place the magistracy under the control of the Minister of Justice, which was re re uh, rejected by practicing lawyer, including the judicial arm. And, and so there is no need to make the judicial arm, including their pension, should not be subjected to the whims and cap caprices of the, an executive. Mm -hmm. Because if you have an executive in the mode of a Rocha Sokorocha, for example, the moment others are given against the state government by the same judges, he's going to deprive them of their entitlement. So let's have, for example, every department, ministries, and agency, they prepare their budget mm -hmm. on the basis of their wants and what should be. But a situation where you prepare a budget for the judiciary, the judicial arm of government, and that is supposedly defended by the registrar in that department at the, at the, at the um, what do you call it, um, the assembly. And then in between, you see governors gifting cars to judges. It, it, it becomes like you know, an indirect way of, um, of, of 
you know, bribing judges. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that's why let all of this, I agree with my colleagues completely, let all of these things be spelled out clearly in clear terms in the budget of the judiciary from the word go. So the judiciary will know that this year they are going to purchase 30 vehicles for judges. New judges are going to be employed. Vehicles will automatically be purchased for them. Offices will be made available for them, including in some state, the judiciary that takes care of the construction of the courtroom right. and not even the executive. All right. Thank you so very much, Liberals, for your intervention. Of course, to Mazi Oku and Kachin Walker for joining us on this segment this morning.